mausoleums built into the side of the hill were a common feature in the 19th century country cemeteries. There appear to have been a half dozen or so built into the east side of the hill in Forest Hill Cemetery beginning in the 1890s. Last summer, we looked at the Stephen Marston site, which is at the north end of the hill near Emory Street. Alas, structures at the other five sites have been taken down by the city as dangerously deteriorated. The first structure moving westward from the Mauston site was the mausoleum of the Atkinson family. The family patriarch was Henry Atkinson, who in 1884 took over from his brother as publisher of The Leader, which remained in the family until 2017. Now, we have no idea of what the Atchison Mausoleum uh, looked like, but as with the other former mausoleums, we do have more recent monuments from when the mausoleums were taken down, the uh, family members were reburied, and we have a modern marker for the Atchison family, as you can see here. Next, there was what we call a triplex mausoleum, and this is what it looked like in a 2007 photo. The Shoemaker, Cameron, and Shute families were buried here, and you can see in the side of the um, wall, stone wall here, the uh, Shoemaker uh, family name. Now, next to the triplex mausoleum was the one for the Ross and uh, Gilbert uh, families. And although you can't see it because it's overgrown, there are archaeological remains of this mausoleum about uh, 10 yards up the slope of the hill. There is extant one uh, freestanding mausoleum, not embedded in the hill, which lo looks more like a lawn shed where Gunder Thompson and his family are buried. This structure, I guess, dates from around 1925 when uh, Gunder died. I think the cemetery lost something when the last of the hillside mausoleums was removed in 2009. They added variety to the monuments and they fit into the theme of country cemeteries, taking advantage of natural features to make burial seem more natural. Decay is especially a problem in historic cemeteries where there is no individual who particularly cares about many of the monuments. Therefore, uh, people who promote historic preservation shouldn't forget about cemeteries as important sites to preserve.